Welcome back to another Total Tank Simulator campaign. In this campaign, we're being the British. Let's jump right into it. Darkest Hour. The UK is an air defensive faction focusing on aerial domination. Their fighter planes are strong, and airports cost less to deploy. Oh, we're taking London back. Oh, wow, okay. All right. Oh, this is a new mode. Iron Man. Let's go with the name of British Man. We'll leave it on normal for now. Let's give this a try. Act 1, United Kingdom. 08, 194, oh my goodness the gracious. Lasted for centuries. You commander don't want demise, do you? Yes, of we course. London due to short-sighted political decisions. <laughs> the battle for England was a disaster for us. Aha. Uh -huh. And don't even get me started on Dunkirk. <clears throat> Until the day I die, we will never surrender. I, I believe you, Alan. I, I truly do. I truly do. You seem like a nice fella. Ah, this is the opposite of the German campaign. Look at this. We start with mines. We have greyhounds. British have a little bit of a tech tree going on here. Radar. Yeah, I remember those from the German campaign. It's a Tesla radar. That's a big boy. But let's jump right into it. The Battle of Nottingham. Agricultural dream. It's going to be a happy dream. Let's do this. Let's see what we got here. So we got some Germans. We have infantry. They're, they got an exposed rocket artillery over here. So we don't have much. We have to use what we have right here. But what I'm thinking is we get some Greyhounds. Rush this side. Two dive bombers. We don't need a fighter plane. Get a mark tank here. We have a little more money. Let's get some infantry to go here. Get a recovery vehicle. So these are different. So they're little trucks now. That's kind of cool. Let's get some artillery. Put it in the back of the map. Let's get four. Gotta outrange the Germans here. Let's get... That's fine. We'll get some infantry to support the assault. Put some infantry in the center here. Alright, looking good. Let's begin the battle. I'm personally gonna take control of one of these Greyhounds. We're gonna go right after their infantry reserves. Already their artillery is busting us apart. Not looking good. Ooh! I have not fought the Germans before. This is an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah, armored cars are not good at fighting tank vehicles. We have an air force that works? Somewhat. Our artillery is actually doing some damage here. We should have, we actually have tanks alive. Their tanks are down. We have some recovery vehicles repairing. We are wiping out their tank force though. I think our artillery is going to outrange their artillery as long as we take down some of their guns. Yes. They have cluster artillery left. As long as one of, one of our artillery guns outranges their artillery, we win this battle. Yes, we won. Because there's no way that our infantry is actually going to be able to charge our artillery guns. Actually, we have an infantry advantage. Look at these infantry. Got some men going in the forest. Look at these British rifles. Beautiful. Look at these guys. I love it. The British got some wicked cool outfits, actually. Very bright, very cheerful. Look at these Germans. Oh, that's a big... That's a big boy right there. That's a big boom. Ah, look at these crowds. They're running. They're running for their lives. They're in full retreat now. They can't counter this beautiful British artillery. Come on, artillery guns. Take them out. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So they have one infantry left. This poor guy is going to get outranged by about five quarter pounders. Oh, my God. He's running to the house for safety. Oh. You got to give the guy props. He did the best he could. Victory! The Battle of Nottingham. From the British perspective. Alright, so we have two choices here. Wow, that spiked up a difficulty. So the Germans aren't messing around in this campaign. Let's look around though, we got some stuff to do in the tech tree. We can get more planes, which might be a good idea. I would say we get another, I'd say we get a Crusader. Let's get a Sniper. So we can lock the next act. We gotta set up for that. We don't have any officers, and we have a little bit of money, so we're actually gonna get get James Williams. Seems like a nice fella. Let's get Lewis Walker, Robert Clark. Actually, no, we're gonna keep those. We need to save some money. So we got the Battle of Oxford, the Battle of Clochester. This, so if we went this way, we'd have to do another battle, but at the end of the day, we just go here. All right, boys and girls, I've made my decision. We're going right into the Battle of Clochester. Let's beat these krauts right on back into the channel. Let's see here. So we got a little German tank force here. Got some lights. Panzer threes. Painful. We got some rocket artillery. Small infantry reserve in the town. Big German air force. Biggest one we've seen so far. It's air force time. Let's just get one more fighter to oppose that German air force. Let's get a lot of dive bombers. Could be the key in this battle. Let's get some quarter pounders going. A couple bits of artillery stationed around. And we have about 100 more points. Good thing British tanks are insanely cheap. Really, really cheap. Get some riflemen in these 
is their church. I think that's it. It's gonna be an Air Force war here. We should, once we wipe out their Air Force, their tanks are exposed. They have no infantry reserves here. Should be a real clean cut victory here for us boys. Let's hope so. And to make sure of that, I'm gonna take control of one of these bombers myself. Yikes. That actually worked well. Oh my goodness. Good bombing. We just wiped out their tank force. Yes! The Air Force is down. Alright, we have air superiority. The infantry just got wiped. Their air forces are going all around the battle. Ooh. Close. I'm sensing victory here, but they have a few more tanks up their sleeves. It's gonna be a close one. Ooh. Dang, there goes that church. One of our tanks was next to that bad boy. The main thing I'm worried about is these tanks. I have no idea if we can actually counter them. We still have artillery rounds. They could still fire. We have no more bombs, but they have machine guns. We're actually wiping out a few more of the tanks, which is wonderful. Your tanks are taking a hot, lot of heavy damage. So close. If one of these artillery shells hits these mediums, it's over for them. It's only four, four medium tanks in the battlefield right now. We have a serious chance of victory, but the Germans are playing it smart. They're splitting up their forces effectively. Let's see. Yes. We need a couple more shells like that and we win. Beautiful. One more shell like that and that tank force is down and the Air Force is taking out the rest. Then all of our artillery can focus fire on these tanks and we win the battle. They already are. Beautiful. Those tanks are being smart. They're weaving. We got we exposed their infantry reserve in there. So close. Nice. Okay. We almost got it. Their health is almost down. A couple more rounds and we win this battle. Keep clenchingly close. Look at how close this tank is to death. Please. Oh, pretty please hit him. No! I think we may lose this, boys and girls. I'm not feeling good about this. I don't know if our artillery has any more rounds. Speaking of artillery... Is that our infantry? It's not a good sign. That means our artillery gun must have ran out of ammo. I'm supposing the other ones did too. I might have put them too far back behind the hill. Now it's just a matter of our infantry in the woods. If I can find them here. There was a button to help with this. Yes. Okay. We can find our infantry now. Will he be a hero for Britain? Maybe not. He's, he's, the tank is horrible at shooting. We need to use this guy. It's up to you, my friend. I have to take him out. Please. Yes! Ooh, that's beautiful. That gives me goosity bumps. We're going to win this battle. Whatever the cost. We'll kick those Germans off that channel and win the battle for Britain. We should be alright here. I don't want to get exposed. I don't want to waste ammo too. We got a lot of ammo up our sleeve. We have Germans all over here. We have a German boy running through these... Actually, we have a few of our boys still alive up there. We might have a chance here. I know one of the Germans is in the house. Man, is this close. Up the hill we go. Ah, we got him! The last crowd is in that town, and we win the Battle of Clochester. Come on, boys. I'll lead the way. Look, we can pick some flowers. I'm on my British ma- Excuse me? Alright, we're just gonna act like that didn't happen. But this crowd is saying, what in the hell? This has been a hard-fought battle. We're gonna win this for Britain. Get this boy. I can taste the victory, boys and girls. We won it together. Get these crowds out of this house here. Come on. Come to Papa. Look at this cool knife. That's cool. <gasps> oh, I didn't want to throw that. Whoa, hello. Hey, can you just stay still for me? Thank you. Wow, not used to SMGs. All right, we have victory, and that was a hard-fought victory indeed. Holy Christ. <laughs> My God. We did it. All right, the Battle of Clochester. Total victory. Whew, that was close. Okay, so let's upgrade in the tech tree here. Let's get... We can get some better artillery. Let's get... We get a dive bomber. It's not a bad idea. And let's get... I'd say let's get a Churchill. And... Yeah, maybe a pirate tank. We finally use those harpoons the British have been using. Wait, what? They were joking. I was, I was seriously... This tank has a pirate hook on it. It takes over enemy tanks. This is amazing. We need an entire army of this. All right, here we go. The Battle of Dover. Booyah! All right, so we got some VIPs here. The VIPs appear to be one officer boy, one tanky boy, and another tanky boy. Big tanky boy. They got Hetzers. But I'm thinking, same plan as last time. We dominate the air. We dominate the seas, baby. 
Let's get some dive bombers, our brand new dive bomber typhoons. I'd say we get more typhoons than the other bombers. They could be a little more effective. We'll get one of these guys, though. Mainly want some of our brand new artillery pieces. And we're going to use our Crusaders. Put them in a nice Congo line here. Cut them out real nice and fine. Going to use some of the best infantry in the world. The British infantry. Let's go. Use some of these British infantry. Put them down the center. We got some Germans in this house. You know what that? You know what these Germans get? You know what they get? Nice armored car right there. And another one right there. When they, get, when they spawn in, they're going to go... Alright, let's get a few more infantry over here. A little bit of infantry over there. I think we're in good shape here. Let's get a pirate tank because I want to try the suckers out. Maybe they could be useful. We'll get a Churchill in the front, in the front here. We'll get an armored car up here to help wipe out the infantry, and we're just gonna literally wipe out this entire pack. And we're gonna get a couple more crusaders in the back because it's gonna get pretty intense in this side of the map. Get some more lights to distract the tanks, and let's tango, baby. Let's see these Churchills. I want to see them in action. So these are big Churchills that just got wiped out by AA Flax. Ooh, nice, we got them. We just wiped out that infantry reserve. Beautiful job. Our bombers are immediately going for the massive tank force that just got wiped out over there. Beautiful job by our new Typhoons. So their tank reserves are down. It's just the lights now. We actually are pirating them. So that's what that meant. So when you hook a tank, it actually pirates them. That's what that symbol means. I never knew that. So we're definitely going to be using pirate tanks and stationing them away in some of our units. That is hilarious. So you're absolutely doing that in most of our armies. We should be winning this. We're doing well. As long as we kill this VIP, we win the battle. If one stray bomb or one artillery piece hits this guy, we win. I think we're going to do it right here. Nope. So close. But as I said, their tank force are going to wipe out. Look at our tank babies. Yes! We just wiped them out. Booyah! I love victory. So that's act one down for the British campaign. I like it so far. The Allen guy's a nice fella. But I don't want to discount my buddy Rom. He was pretty nice too. I think he'll grow Today, on me. You've really oh! Oh, Allen! You oh, the Mr. Brook. Management again? Well, of course. All our troops in exactly the right spot to put the Nazis in their place. Absolutely. We crushed those crowds. The darkest hour. Mm -mm -mm, baby. Let's see what the next act has in store for the next episode. Act 2, United Kingdom, 01-1942. The Americans land in Tunisia in November. Oh. And we shall join them there. Of course. It would be quite impolite of us to arrive late. Very impolite, my Mr. Our friends Brooke. over the pond observed enough of those sterile ministerial discussions in London. Let us make a proper impression on them this time. Absolutely proper British, my friend. All right. This is a defensive act. This act can be fought or skipped. So it's teaching us about defensive acts here. And basically, we can fight all these individual battles or just skip to the last battle of the campaign. Which, I recommend fighting these. I fight these battles. So the next episode, we'll be fighting a few, if not all, of these battles of Tunisia. They give you a lot of research points early on. They give you a huge bonus throughout the rest of the campaign. So in the next episode, we begin with the battle of... I still don't know how to pronounce it, but the battle of... Ooh! El Amalemelein. Something like that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the rest of my videos.